Virtual reality has been out there for the gaming industry for more than 10 years, and it's a very strong field. But actually using this technique to actually understand proteins and how this understanding can, can lead to new drugs, this is a relatively recent uh, field. And the UCSF Chimera X team, they are pioneering this field. All of our research really revolves around trying to understand how protein structures and other biological three-dimensional structures, uh, what they tell us about how the proteins work, and then ultimately exploiting that for drug discovery. How can we develop uh, drugs that will target these proteins? I try to understand from a computational perspective how proteins work and how can small molecules bind to this protein and affect its function potentially providing a new hypothesis for new therapies. VR has completely changed things now with the ability to walk into a scene and be able to see things from multiple directions. Using it a couple times, especially here in discussions uh, and lab meetings, I found that it was extremely useful and everyone can step up uh, put on the headset and point at something and we can discuss ideas on the go. We've used uh, Chimera for years. It's one of the best software out there for visualizing proteins and other biological structures. And of course, Tom Farron, who develops Chimera and Chimera X is a colleague in my department. UCSF has been a leader in this area for decades now, and there's very few academic research labs uh, developing software at this caliber. It provides much more of an intuitive feel for proteins, for, especially for people who are not experts in them. Beth, at some level, you know, she's an incredible expert in this field of protein kinases and their role in cancer. But being able to sit there with her and look at the proteins in 3D, all of a sudden, you know, she could get very, very quickly an intuitive feel for how the protein structure is related to its function. Pediatric patients with high-risk leukemias, they give a sample of their leukemia cells to be molecularly profiled. We have these new targeted medicines that work against specific mutations that cause cancer, but the proteins can change in a way that they can no longer be blocked by the medications. The VR room was great. That's where our meetings were held, and so we all knew that we were on the same page. If somebody was talking about a certain loop in the protein, you could actually walk into the protein with them and they could point at it and actually show you, so it's not like you're looking at a two-dimensional picture, making sort of guessing whether or not you're talking about the same residue. In this scenario, we were able to just focus on the certain important mutants rather than look at every possible mutant out there. Qualitatively, I can say being able to walk into a protein, look at it from multiple perspectives, I mean, literally, you know, putting my head in the middle of it, it leads to insights that I think I just wouldn't have had otherwise.